Um, but but some type of phone call that like, you supposed to call Jim or he he's denying it that you called him. Like what's up with that? Can you play that up? Who's that? <laughs> Jim Jones, formerly of the Diplomats, so the Young Diplomats. Wow. Can't be. I, I like Jason like Moore. I got the Jason Moore shit in me though. I'm off sometimes. I ain't even sure you're talking about. Alright, so skipping the phone call. This can't answer to that. Um, and other things is Joel's contract or something. When I read your article, I read the article which came out a month before, and I read your article, and it it kind of makes sense. Like I, I kind of see what you're saying, where you didn't really sell the contract. Cause I guess you didn't sell him as a slave, which I guess promoted all the controversy. So um. You want to speak on that a little bit, like, who's that? Yeah, this. Oh, man. Damn. Who? Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Moving forward. Oh, I want to ask you, too, about the blue Lamborghini. Like, you okay. still like that? Nah, I got rid of it. My Cam is back now. He's back now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just a little confused about it. I wasn't sure. Wow. But, um. Is that bad, Cam? Is, is, is that bad? What? What? The situation between people that you don't know. Uh, I can't have a bad situation with nobody I don't know. I don't, I don't even... I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> What's the dude name again? <laughs> uh, I believe Jim Jones and Joel Santana. Sounds familiar. <laughs> you may have got to check. Yeah, Yo, Cam's my favorite rapper in the game. Oh my God. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um, so the Blue Lambo, that was the DC yeah. thing. No, I, still, I had it after that situation, but you know what happened? I got that, the Gallardo, I had mm -hmm. the Gallardo when it first comes out. It's like when the 745 first came out. Mm -hmm. You don't remember when, when, when the new car is coming out and it's the first car ever? You don't want to get it. I learned that growing up because it's like, it fucks up. I got a fucking 240,000 Lamborghini and I can't drive it when it when it's 90 degrees outside because it overheats and, and then the cars. Cut the house yeah, and exactly. And then you sit on the FDR, the West Side Highway, embarrassed, and people ride past you in the Civic, like, hey, it's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. it's kind of crazy. Then the clutch burned out, you know, like three times, and mm -hmm. it's like 14,000 in clutch. I love the Gallardo. I may get another one, but I have to chill out for a minute. Is that from driving too hard? You can or is this a natural thing with it? I didn't drive it that much. I may have drove it like once a week, if mm -hmm. that. It just, it's just the first car. When I first took the Gallardo to get fixed, you know how they fixed it? I was bugging. I had um, pulled over to the spot. The dude told me I was driving seat. No homo. He had his computer mm -hmm. and plugged the shit under the steering wheel and fixed my car on his computer. Yes. Yeah. That was crazy. It bugged me out too. So it's like, you know, you got the first, for one of the first cars. First Galados out the first batch that came out, you know, it's a little computer technical problems. So if you want to get a car and be the first one, wait like a year until after they making sure they don't do any recalls or stuff. Like some of the PT so. cruisers back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, you, I like the fact that you have a lot of businesses outside of hip hop. Um, so I wanted to ask you about Scissor for one. Is that still. I saw my portion of the company. I sued okay. them. I didn't sell my portion. I sued them and me and them settled out for a fee. Okay. And then you own a, a couple of homes and then there's a liquor store that still is popping. I don't have the liquor store anymore, but I still... Cam got new businesses, see? We, yeah. trying, to, we trying to catch up. To be honest, <laughs> what I learned, I just I just got off the phone, yeah. doing the phone and telling somebody the same thing. I'm not really going to tell the businesses I have any... Yo, Jay. What? You know? So with them checks, B. How huh? you doing? Good, how are you? That's a check lady. She does all the checks right here for <laughs> Warner Brothers. When your money needs to know where it's at, she's the lady right here who knows what's going on. Jen Check. What's we'll up, Jen? Jen Check. We we'll call her Jen Check. I like that. That's some possessor. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. She's a can handling business. I like Jen, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's the one who gives out all the checks for Warner Brothers. Right. So you were saying you only like to publicize your businesses anymore? Yeah, I'm sorry about nah, that. Cool. Um, yeah, what I was saying was, you know, a lot of times when you talk about the business you have, people even want to do the same business you got just because like, oh, Cam did it, I can do it. 
But not only that, they like to sabotage it more than others. So right. I kind of learned to keep a low profile on what I own and what I don't own so that I can still get the customers that I do have. Right. Um, also want to ask you, the internet is buzzing about this whole Chris Brown Rihanna thing. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know what was Cam's take on that. Some 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 guys are coming to Chris Brown's defense. I think a couple of the hot talents are you know, because Nickelodeon didn't want to pull him. What's Cameron's take on, I guess, domestic violence in general, or if you want to go into Chris Brown? I just think, no, I'm just... I don't know that situation. I don't want to talk a lot. I don't know who was there yeah. and what happened. And from what you heard? From what I've heard, it's just just a bad incident. You know, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm not saying Chris Brown is wrong. I'm not saying Rihanna is wrong. I just hope they work everything out. But overall, domestic violence is real whack. You know, I'm not. A, I'm, not I'm thinking when you're in a relationship and it comes to the point of hitting somebody, you got to get out the relationship. Right. I'm not saying that that's Chris Brown Rihanna situation because right. everybody, you know. I jump to speculation. He shouldn't be hit. Like, you know, who knows if she hit him? You know what I'm saying? You could have, she could have spit on him. She could have hit him. And that could have just been a reflex. Right, Nobody right. knows. But I hope they work it out. I was reading something yesterday. They back in the studio together and so on and so forth. So I wish them the best of luck. Right. When is Cam gonna? Is Cam gonna ever go back on Bill O'Reilly? I like the way you handle yeah, it, man. Nah, you <laughs> They up and fight that me, still I gets heavy burn on YouTube. It's like I don't know if you've seen it. It's like one of the like if you search Cameron, it's like yeah. one of the top like people love watching that. Yeah, I get a lot. Of, you get a lot of people on the street who still tell me like I love doing Bill O'Reilly, X, Y, Z. But um, whenever you fight me, would you go back? You would yeah, go back. definitely yeah. go back. Especially now that I know what type of person he is. I didn't know how Bill O'Reilly was before I got there. That right. was my first time even. I never watched the show before. I never yeah. knew what type of person. That was just me being me. Right. But now that I know what I'm dealing with, it'll be more prepared. It'll, it'll be more prepared. It'll be crazy. Um, where was Cameron when uh, Barack Obama got sworn in? Does Cam vote? Um, did you vote for Barack in like, um, a three-part president? Yeah. Um, no, I didn't, I didn't vote. I was happy that Barack won, mm -hmm. and I was on on 25th and 7th, people was going crazy in Harlem. It was like some little mini riot out there. So I was in Harlem when that happened, but it yeah. was a zoo out there. Yeah. So you're happy that you think he's yeah, cool? Yeah, very, very, very happy, mom. very happy, very happy. Uh -huh. I think it's a great look. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, at the end of the day, no discredit to Barack Obama at all, but yeah. it don't matter who we are for president, we ain't kind of fucked it up as much as George Bush did, so. And definitely everyone's looking to him to fix it. Though. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Um, 50 Cent, real quick, back in 2006, when that whole phone call and how they said it happened, and that's when I guess the media says you disappeared. Are you going to be addressing that on Crime Page? And you got to get the album and check it out. I'm going to tell you uh, Okay. Get the album, you see. And I want to ask you about Jay, too. I never heard you really talk about or acknowledge Dig a Hole on his Kingdom Come album, which people say addressed you, even though your name is not called. What, what, what do you say about the song? That's the um, name of the hole? Dig a hole? Dig a hole. What did he say exactly? Uh, like, uh, what he said he shot me? He got me shot? Is that the one? <laughs> um, what's the, the, the line? I was just saying it up here. Um, my chain was on your neck. You've been platinum and my chain was on your neck. Yeah. Um, I, think, I, think I know that sort of thing. Yeah, well, basically, to be honest, you know, I was just giving Jay Z a little bit of props on the deals and so on and so forth. Making really shout out to John McNeely because he's really doing all the good. John McNeely's an animal. I see you hustle, John. Keep doing what you're doing, man. He's a beast. As far as Jay Z saying I was chaining his name, Dave Dash made that name up. That's a Harlem company, and Rockefeller is thing. Whether he has the name now or never, it's come from Harlem. And Dave signed me over there. And Rick signed me over there. So. When I was rocking rep and rock and because of everything that they made did for me over there, right. and so on and so forth. But I would never do nothing to even my swag is paid. Okay, I must, you can't buy swag, it's not for sale. Right. You can't go to store and buy it, yo. Or some wisdom from Ken. My shit is on a hundred, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, I'm really, really impressed with the deals they're making at the end of the day, but that one particular line that you told me, I'm never had no shame, you had one if anything. You're running around with the name that a Harlem nigga made up the gave to you. Whether you own it or not, or whatever the case may be, that was Dame's company and that was Dame's name. Right. Um, oh, I wanted to ask you about um, what, what chicks in the game right now you feeling when you pick up the magazines? I guess you have your Christina Milian. I see this Seattle. chick yesterday, Pebble. Mm -hmm. Shit crazy, you see that shit? Nah, really? Yeah, she has some ass. Table right here, <laughs> food on it and all that. She's she gonna give Buffy some, Buffy some trouble. She passing Buffy, passing Buffy. If you ever go, wherever you go and type in Pebbles mm -hmm. for um 
she was doing a photo shoot, photo shoot party for, I believe, K Slave magazine, Stray okay. Stud. Okay. I just seen a little view of that. She, her shirt was fat. She had a fat. Right. Um, Max B has always, I, he's in interviews, he said that you're cool, he's always messed with you, but he was never dip set. What are your thoughts on, on Max B, like his movement? He has a pretty, pretty visible online movement.